Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunker down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jerry Harris, and you are? Jerry Williams. Jerry Williams. The Jerry Jerry Show. Yes, right. We're, we're going to get it done. We, we got a big show today, but got a lot planned for the weekend. Yes, sir. A lot. Tell you what, Jerry, we're going to take a short pause for our sponsors, and then we're going to get started. Got some announcements, and we got a little video that uh, I think your grandson's going to like. I believe so. so. Well, we'll be right back. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Subaru. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Subaru best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Subaru number one in vehicle safety. And JD Power is also named Subaru number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Subaru and see what being number one is all about. Every year, thousands of people come together in Shelbyville, Tennessee to celebrate the greatest horse in the world by naming world champions and world grand champion Tennessee walking horses in multiple divisions. Join us this year for the 84th annual Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration, featuring 198 classes starting August 24th and continuing through September 3rd, when the world grand champion Tennessee Walking Horse will be crowned. Contact the celebration today at 931 6 845915 and reserve your seats. Then come out and enjoy five days and ten nights of the best of the best Tennessee walking horses competing for top honors. Six time world champion in amateur and open competition, four times amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dow at Fantasy Farm in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931 389 6983 for breeding information. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> All right, uh, got a few announcements. Cornersville Lions Club is July the 15th. That's this Friday night. Showtime is at 5.30. You can call Bobby McNatt or McDaniels. Bobby McDaniels at 931-993-3237. And Jerry Collier is the judge down there, I, I do believe. He, well, I know he is. And then horseplay is Saturday. It starts at 4.30. Judge is Joe Fleming. You can call Kristen Lambert, 865-776-5589. And we're going to have Joe Fleming as the judge there. And we will be doing live stream during that and taking calls for anybody that wants to make contribution to the uh, horseplay. The Tweeba World Versatility Championship. Now, this is very important. July 21st in Murfreesboro, Miller Coliseum. You can call the Tweeba office at 931-359-1574 to get information on that. But now, people, this is important. It's the Versatility World Championship to show the versatility of the Tennessee walking horse. Marshall County Horseman Association is July 22nd. 
located Robin Hood Road in Lewisburg, Tennessee. Call Wayne Dean, 931-703-9547. And Link Webb is going to mark the cards. The show starts at 6 p.m. Now, that's followed by Saturday night, July 23rd, Pulaski, Tennessee, the red carpet located at Giles County Ag Park in Pulaski. Contact Pat Ford, 931-478-0728. Start time is 6 p.m. Brett Greider will mark the cards. <coughs> and you know, Jerry, they, uh, what do you think about our judges list? I think it's pretty good. But it is. We got uh, got two new ones. Yeah. Johnny Puckett and Amy Trumbull are going to mark the cards this year, and then we got a an old an old guy. I'm going to call him. He's a super good guy, yes. but he's been there quite a bit, few times. That's Sam Sara. But then you got Jamie Bradshaw and um, Paul Robbins. Yes. Now I think Paul's judged it two or three times, I believe. But now that that's a good panel. That so, is. That's a good panel. It's gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna check it out anyway. That's the 84th national celebration, and I am looking forward to it. Real when you forward. Had the first one, the celebration. I don't think so. Oh, I thought you might have been. No. <laughs> I, I, I did go to my first one in 1958. Oh, okay. So I'm. I'm. I'm fulfilling the dream. You, you want to let everybody know how old I am? That, that's how old I am. My first one was in 1958. I climbed the fence, sold popcorn peanuts. And bought a cold drink and, and some popcorn and sat in the cheap seats and watched the horses. I understand. Fell in love and I've been stuck ever since. I understand. I should have stayed home that night. <laughs> no. <laughs> if I stayed home, I might not be where I am now. Might have just let it go. I tell you what, this this show this weekend for horseplay, Jerry, it's it's important. Yes. I mean it it's these kids are, are very, very special. They they work hard. The instructors work hard, and this is a program that needs all the support it can get and all the help from the people. Yes. That's one of the reasons we're going to be doing the uh, live stream and letting people call in and make contributions, because they uh, there's always needs when you do a program like this. Oh, you're right. Well, another thing about uh, horseplay is they don't only do Coffee County children. They do Franklin County, Coffee, Lincoln, Moore, Rutherford, you name it, Grundy County. Uh, just all anybody that wants to bring their kids to this program, they can bring them. And that's one reason I enjoy working with them so much is because it's for everybody. There's a young lady that I go to church with. That's what it's all about, is keeping them kids happy, getting them involved in the horses. Well, more That's and more like people that. need to work with oh, them. Yeah. I mean, they really do. It's, working with kids is, is something that's a, a, a special deal. Yes, it, it is. It really is. And they, uh, they work hard out there. Those obstacle courses are something I might have trouble with one of them <laughs> myself. You know, them, them kids, and any of them can do it. I remember when I was a kid, my dad taught a little girl with silver paws and how to ride on a horse, and she showed it to celebration at Anne Marie Day. Is that and, right? Yeah, and made a special saddle for her to, to ride and stuff like that. And, and I, matter of fact, I talked to her the other day, and she still got pictures. And is she that right? Her and Melissa and Slim. Yeah, hey, that, that's fantastic. Yeah. It is good. Well, you you do a lot of uh, working with kids at your barn. I've yes. watched you out there with lead line and everything else but uh you've got one one young man that uh and and he 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 has had his medical issues too oh yeah, yeah and three uh, open heart surgeries right so what you do with him and he he tickles me because he if you give him a job to do and he and, and he's a trainer oh yeah he's, i he's mean he, he, he gets it. but <laughs> we we got a little video of him and uh yeah, I know you had him working that round pen quite a while. Oh yeah. But now he he likes it. Now he get out there first thing he do every morning. Get out there and go feed the horses and food with them coats. And he got every one of them baby coats out in that pasture. He can walk up to himself and pet every <laughs> one of them. Well, I tell you what, kid kids fascinate me. The way they their agility and the way they bond, especially with horses. Yes. It's just. Uh, very, it's very special, but I know now. I've watched him out there, and he, 
I don't care what, what you, if you've got him rolling the wraps, if you if you got him sweeping, uh, and but, but he did tell me one day he, he was getting into my treats, and he, I mean he had him a big bag. I said, "What are you doing?" He said, it's "Time to feed the horses." <laughs> I said, "I thought y'all done fed the horses." He said, "Yep, now it's time to give him a treat." <laughs> so, but he's going down there through there giving treats. But you know, these horses is a go-to thing for kids that might not can be able to play sports, might not can play baseball, football or can't get hurt, hit hard. I mean, you can put them on a horse and teach them how to ride. And I mean, that's something that any kid can do regardless of what kind of elder you have. They can go to a horse and learn how to ride it regardless, you know. Well, that's true. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you, these kids, when they learn, well, it's just like just like Jake Jacobs and Ali Joe. Uh -huh. you know, they have found something that, that they can do and both of them enjoy so, together. That's right. And then you got James Wilson mm -hmm. and his grandson. Hey, just the horses. I mean, that that's their bond. That, yes. That's their thing. And when you look back through time at different families that work with the horses and, and train and things, it, it's a family thing. It's some, in some of these flat shot shows, mother, daddy, both kids and nephews ride the same horse. You know, they just show it a bunch of different times. Oh, yeah. I think you might can remember this, but they had this one guy, this one when I was real young, was blind. Yep. And they got and they put him on a horse and he made the show on you know, the guy was blind and put him on that horse and that horse took care of him in that ring. He showed multiple times. And matter of fact, I believe I watched him show up in uh, between here and Chattanooga, Dunlap. Uh -huh. And that, I I almost called his name right then, but it, it's true, and different people, they, they hunt things to do, and this is something that parents can do with their children, and they're like a video that uh, they, they did that I, I paid strict attention to. It had to do with racing, and the Indians do it, where three of them have three horses, and they're bareback, but they race them three times around the track, a different horse each time. And one of the main statements that they made, and it was made several times by different people in the video, it says, it gives us something to do that we love and enjoy, and we don't get in trouble. Yes. That's and right. that's one of the things that, that I look at, and I go back to the when we did equine education, and we had over 2,000 kids come in there and ride a horse. And I mean, you could tell the the joy in them being around a horse, petting a horse. But that is something that if more people would look, and if our, some of our school systems would start doing an academy program at schools, letting them compete with each other, you'd be surprised. It may cut down on a whole lot of the the problems that we have with with school shootings, the bullying, everything because. They'd give these kids something special that they love to do. And it, it, that's me, though. Oh, but that's a prime example. I used to take horses to Nashville to the um, to Behavior Kids program mm. over there. And all these kids, I mean, these were teenagers. Yeah. And when I first pulled up, you know, they cutting up. And when I bring that horse out and they get to looking at that horse and being around him, mm. I mean, everything was just quiet and all they focused was on that horse. That's and it. everything, and so that's what I'm saying. But you can take some of the bad, some of the kids that got some of the worst attitudes or whatever. And once you, they get used to being around that animal or that horse, they change it, and they change them all the way around. It will. You know, it used to. I, I watched a lot of uh, the Disney programs and things growing up. But there used to be one. I can't remember the name, but it had to do with these boys going to a summer camp and riding horses. Uh -huh. And some of the attitudes of some of the people that come, some of the kids that come were very negative. But those horses would change the way they felt. And, and this is things that parents, grandparents, great grandparents, if they think and just stop and think a while, that maybe if they've got a problem child, that, let's go find him a horse. That's right. I tell you what. Buying a kid a horse and taking care of it and putting him in a show ring, 
I'd feel a whole lot better about spending money for that than I would bail money. Oh, yeah. And maybe paying for destruction of where they destroyed property or something. At least that way they're, they've got something. They've got something that they can feel. They've got something that they can see. And you'd be surprised how these horses just... They, they seem to just take up. Oh, yeah. it, it, you'd have to experience it. Oh, yeah, you have and, to experience it. I mean, this, for this horse, I wouldn't know where I would be at if it wasn't for this horse, you know, and stuff like that. I mean, just, the, just being around the horse and loving it and everything else, you know, and just, you know, I don't know if, I, if my dad wasn't a horse trainer growing, you know, when I was growing up and all mm -hmm. that stuff, you know, I might have been in jail or doing something else, but this horse kept me out of trouble. Because it kept me focused on with well, the It gave me something to do. It gave me something to do. I'll tell you what, it let's watch some, speaking of horse, let's watch some horse videos. Yeah, that'll work. Let's go. We're going to watch. That We've got a special announcement. That's it. Here's a video I want everybody to see, and I want you to share it. I'm Jerry Harris with Water Horse. As many of you know, the PAST Act is coming up for discussion again. Now, this is a suggestion to take our pads and our action device. Now, scientific studies have shown that the pads do absolutely no harm to our horse. It also shows that even up to a 10-ounce chain does not harm our horse. However, because of being pushed and shoved by the Humane Society of the United States, they have decided that they want to take both the pads and the action device, which would virtually destroy the Tennessee walking horse industry. Now, some people just would rather believe what they're told than look at proof. So today, we're going to show some proof. And to show that proof, I went to a good buddy of mine, Giles Dunn in Tullahoma, and I got a citizen's watch. Now, it came in a real pretty case, uh, even a real pretty container. And if you raise it up, you can see the watch is inside. So I'm going to take this watch out. Now this is a brand new watch that I got from Giles Dunn to show exactly how silly the notion that a six ounce action device will harm 1,100 pound horse. I've got a set of scales right here. I'm going to take this watch, real nice watch, got all the bells and the whistles on it. 6.8 ounces, 6.8 ounces. Now, a horse we're allowed to show in a six ounce action device. If a 6.8 ounce watch does not harm a human, how can they believe for one minute that a six ounce action device harms 1,100 pound horse? Now, you see how silly that sounds? However, we all know that the Humane Society is notorious about bribery, about paying people to lie under oath. They've been caught. So my question to all congressmen who are going to vote on this past act, are you being made a fool of? Are you an idiot? Are you just not bright enough to understand that this makes no sense? Or are you corrupt? Are you being paid? It's got to be one of them. Because anybody sane can tell that 6.8 ounces on a man, if it does not hurt him, a 6-ounce action device on a Tennessee walking horse is not going to harm that horse. Think about it before you vote. And I'm asking everybody that watches this video, call your congressman. Ask him which is he. Is he the fool or is he corrupt? It's got to be one way or the other. Because common sense just tells you the six ounce action device does no harm to a Tennessee walking horse. It's that simple. And it is that simple. Oh, that was well seen right there. I mean, wow. it's, it's well, it, I was a little blunt, but to be honest, my daddy always told me, he said, you can't have a conversation with an idiot 
and uh, and that's it, it's true. If you got to pay attention, and you've got to see, just like the lady in in Knoxville at one of the TV news said, you put boats in a lake. How dumb is that? Yes. But now she said it on the air. I'm sitting there listening to it, and I I cracked up. I said, man, that is crazy. Now we're going to watch some horse video. Diamond at the Ritz and Lexi Smith for Walden and Smith. Country Pleasure Youth winner. I'm going to make one statement here. Kimberly Walden has all kinds of horses. But I've noticed one thing. She shares them with young people. She puts them on them, puts them out there, and lets them enjoy life. And I believe she gets just as big a thrill out of watching them win as she does when she wins. I believe so. I think you're exactly right on that. That's a nice horse right there. Oh, Lord, yes, it is. Right here is first night out in the Alley Joe Jacobs Country Pleasure Lebanon Underwinter. Yeah. You know, they got that horse just for her to ride. And, and uh, But it's a super nice. Real nice Country horse. Pleasure yep. Horse. She making memories right there. Oh Lord, yeah. They'll sit back when they get older and kick back and Jacob said, you know, I remember when you was a little baby, or he'll be rocking one of his grandkids, said, your mama did that. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. I tell you what, Taylor and this horse have come together, buddy. Oh, yeah, they have. Now, when you, when you watch her on him now, there's no difference between that horse and when Edgar's on him. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Little horse with a big way of going, buddy. He's no stranger to that winning circle. He's gonna say a lot more too. Oh, I yeah. can tell you that. He is that good. Right here is title defense in Samantha Green for Evergreen Walking Horse Farm. There's a young lady flat ride. Yeah, she can too. I mean, she was raised. To ride, born to ride her dad or granddad and on both sides and everything else rode horses. Everybody did. Yep, everybody. Her mother could flat show one. Yep. But I know Virginia was mighty proud. Oh yeah. That's another lady sit back and like people to watch show horses. She oh, enjoy, Lord, she enjoyed. Yeah. And Virginia was a good rider. Oh, yes, yeah, she was. She won World Grand yeah. Championship. Honors to Mr. Guest, Jeremy Jensen. Yep. Now, he made a great show. He did. He made a good show. I'm, words can I describe how proud I am of him. Well, i tell you what. He was in there in some deep cotton, but he let them know he was in there. Yep. That was, again, thanks to Miss Virginia. You know. Right there is Epic and Megan Hammond for Shamrock Farm Show Pleasure Amateur winner. He's a real nice one. Oh man. That horse is just flat out great. I am surprised that some other amateur hadn't approached Mike about buying that horse. Yes, I am too. Right there's Charlie's Perfect Angel and Tyler Balkum for Tara Road. Now everybody needs to pray for Tara. She's got a back problem that she is, she was not able to come and it was tearing her all to pieces. Yes. Now she couldn't stand it. I 
That's a nice big mare yeah, there. Real nice mare. Tyler doing a wonderful job with her. I tell you what, Ch Tyler has done a great job with horses. Yeah. Right here. Yes. Hey, born a maverick. I can see roses in that horse's future. He's that good. He just seems like every time he comes out, he's just a little bit better. That, that's right. Than he was the last time. I think they call that locked in. Yep. He got that short sure presence about him. Yep. Right here is quite an honor. Amateur four year old married and guilty. I tell you what, I thought Beth did a fantastic yeah, she job showing this, this horse. Now she's a good rider. Yeah. You can see where them girls are hers. They're taking right. after her. That's right. Big crowd of people out there too. Oh Lord, yeah, bunch of people. Yeah. Tell you what, they had 507 horses at that show. There's the Char Queen, two-year-old Marion Gildan extravaganza winner. And John Allen Callaway for Beth Beasley. You're gonna hear a lot from that mare. Oh yeah, you will. Well, there's a fan favorite. Yep. That's a pretty sum gun right there. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ain't wet it brow real well. Right here is Miss Dixie Carter and Molly Walters and Taylor Walters in the AMM -AM specialty winner. You know I like these classes right here, them AMM -AM classes. Mm -hmm. They you nice. Know. They could have one of them classes like for part performance, pony. Yeah. I would like to see a trainer trainer class. Oh yeah. Different train from different boys ride somebody else's horse. Twisted with honors and Allison Armstrong. This is the first time she showed that horse. Yep. But she did a great job did with it. Did a good job. That is one nice horse right there. Good job, Allison. Right here's a King Thane and Bob Adcock, amateur 50 and over winner. This is another horse that won a lot. Oh, yes. Real nice horse. Worth a whole lot more than when he first sold. Yes, <laughs> yes he was. <laughs> That's living proof you never can tell. That's right. <laughs> right trainer, 
don't you just don't know. Right here is Rich Revival in Brandon Alshire for Silvers and Bank Barnes. I tell you what, first time out. That's a good two-year-old right a there. Real good two-year-old. I think he's a poor brother at what Jose's revival. Yep, I believe yep. that's right. Uh huh. I believe that is right. That's when he said first took a chance on one. I like this horse a lot. Right there, I be smoking Joe. Now he borrowed that one from his grandkids. Yeah. I'm glad to see Keith back showing some. Yep. Right there is me and Pocahontas. This is your pro am. Yeah. This was another real good class. Oh, yeah. Another real good horse, too. Yeah. You know, we got a lot of real nice mares. Oh, yeah. Just seems like all of a sudden we've got a bunch of them, which I'm not complaining. Nice mares make nice babies. Yep. Here's Dixie Rita and Aaliyah Ann Bale. I tell you what, that young lady, they better watch her because she can flat ride and there ain't no slouch about that horse right there. No. Her mother's running for office over in Franklin County. Okay. Christy Bale, fine person. Right here is Boone's Gin and Jimmy McConnell for Mike Floyd, your four-year-old stallion winner. Now he looked good. Mike Floyd's a super good guy. You know him? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mike is a real nice guy. Real nice guy. I tell you what, they they had a good show. Five hundred and seven head come Man, through. That's, that's wonderful. Inspection that and went into the show ring. So I mean that was great. We ended up with a ninety nine point three percent compliance rate over the whole weekend. That's terrific. Can't that, beat that. That is wonderful. We're gonna take a short pause for our sponsors and we'll be right back. <laughs> Jim DeWin started his career under the guidance of Herbert Derrickson, winning his first outing as a two-year-old in Manchester, Tennessee. After a great two-year-old season, Jim would win his first outing as a three-year-old. He was then purchased by Harold Roberts. Harold won a competitive amateur class with him, then turned the reins over to trainer Blaise Picard, who would win both the World Championship and World Grand Championship three-year-old classes. This would be followed by Kendra Myers winning the amateur four-year-old grand championship, and then Jen would go on to win world championships in both amateur and open show pleasure divisions. With world and world grand championships in both open and amateur divisions, the decision was made to stand this talented black stallion in honor of the man who saw his greatness, Harold Roberts. A Jen win is now standing at Sugar Creek in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Make an appointment to breed your mare today, 931-680-0897. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. We've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411 and see if I can save you money on your communications. 
The Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow. Remember the winner's circle. You got the gift shop, you got knives, you English saddles and accessories, English and cutback, Western and trooper saddles and accessories, complete line attack, bits, spurs, training aids, stable supplies, grooming medication, horse clothing, riding apparel, accessories, and footwear. While you're in town, go down to the winner's circle and tell them what a horse sent you. Welcome back. You know, we got some more video from uh, Christmas in July. Uh -huh. I mean, that was a huge show. Oh, yeah. But uh, one class that I know we're going to watch, uh, and this is it. The state class was one of the best state classes oh, yeah. we've seen in a while. Yes, you were right. You know what, this, this is the caliber of a class you see at the celebration. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, you've, got, you've got five horses in there that are contenders. That's right. Championship contenders, this show during the walk. Ladies and Matter of fact, two of these judges here are going to be judge celebration. That's right. I'm going to tell you now, there's a good class, real good yeah. class. There's some real good horses in it. Church there, isn't it? Yeah. And everybody knows who that is right there. there. Yeah, there's the roses. Yeah. And there's the man. That's Jason Bourne. Good state class. Well, it was a good state class. Real good state class.
And there he is. Mark one and Jimmy McConnell took the blue. There's the man. Yep, you're right. <laughs> As Jimmy says, if you don't believe he's the greatest trainer that ever was, ask him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now we're going to go to the Money Tree. Tell you what, Money Tree had a good show. Oh, yeah. I believe they ended up with 234 entries. Here's Ali Joe Jacobs, Equitation. Tell you what, the girl's on a roll. Oh, yeah, she is. But now, she deserves it. I mean, the people... They, they can look at her and, and see her all the time, but they also watch the way this girl works at it. Yeah. They're going to, throughout her career, they're going to see her a lot. Right there is Habanero Picante and Abby Smith, Perry and Kimberly Walton. Nice See what Kimberly Perry now they got some nice oh, yeah. ones. And she and she shares now. I mean, let's let's kids show them horses far. Right there's my ticket to ride and race shoemate Tyser for Sandy Shoemate. Tell you what now, that young lady can ride. Oh yes, she can. She started off with Rodney Dick and then ended up with Tim Green and, yep. and Billy. Now she's all over the place riding. Oh, yeah. Doing good. She does good. Yeah. Sandy can too now. Oh, yeah, Sandy can show a horse. Cole Hahn and Allie Joe. Lemon Underwinter. Don't you know she gets bored in the off season? Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I'm gonna say she probably at that boy doing well, something. Yeah, well, Jake says she's down there every day. He says yeah. she's down there wanting to ride, wash a horse, do something every day. Right there's extra special Jose and Emma Wright. Gail and Kegel and Wright. Want to ask everybody to pray for Gail. She is not feeling very well. A little under the weather. Talk to Sammy and he says she is currently in a nursing home. Uh, and that, that's a uh, Some fantastic people. Yeah. Right 
right here is Mr. True Blue and R.M. Kelly for the Jacobs family, your four-year-old canter winner. I'll tell you what, now you talk a horse that consistent. Yes, he consistent. He's not a real big horse, but he's got a big way of going, and he yeah. is consistent. Spence and R.M. do a real good job. They're a good yeah. team together. He's a good little trainer now. Oh, yeah, he, he is. is. One of the young guns. GG's Majestic and LC Bradford for William Bradford. Now that, that horse is one a ton. Right there is knocking boots in Kimberly Walden. Now Kimberly just purchased this horse. Uh -huh. Country Pleasure Amateur five and under. Reserve winner. Knocking boots. I thought she made a great show. Does a good job with them pleasure horses. Oh Lord, yeah. At last, she is limitless, and Molly Walters, another one of our great mares. Right there is uptight Jose and Bruce McDonald. He was reserved. I tell you what, when you're reserved in that class. Oh, yeah. You, you, because it was full. Now, there was a bunch of good ones in there. Right there is Cavender and Knox Blackburn from That's Bruce and Robin one. McDonald. Can't beat that now. Tell you what, that, that right there could be looking at the big one this year. He's that good. We're going to take a short pause for our sponsors and be right back with some more video from Woodbury. We'll be right back. I had a knee replacement, so they have got me at Life Care, which I'm very, very thankful for. I couldn't garden. I couldn't do my flower beds. I can't chase my little dogs. I have been in several therapy sessions for knees and back. And that's the best therapist I believe I've ever been to. It's tremendous because I'm able to walk again, but if it wasn't for the care, I wouldn't be where I am. Let us champion your recovery. Life Care Center of Tullahoma. 
You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi-night shows, sibling and progeny searches, Ryder Cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. More of What a Horse coming up. Welcome back. Now we're going to Woodbury. They had a good, they had 264 entries. That was a good show. Hey, Real good show. Two six, two thirty four and two sixty four, I think, uh, or two thirty six, maybe. But anyway, they they had some fantastic. They had some great classes. I mean, let's face it, yes. they, they real good classes, good horses. Uh, Steve Spielman wasn't there though. He he moved to uh, Fedville, Tennessee, and he they had a new show manager, but they pulled it off and did great. But. We got quite a bit of video from there. Queen Elizabeth. Right here's Queen Elizabeth and Connor Van Dever. I'm gonna tell you what, and I'm gonna say it, that them popping that umbrella in front of y'all, that wasn't that wasn't very kosher. No. But you know that little boy got back on there. I know he did. He, he, he handled back, it well. Yeah, he handled it real well. I'm very proud of him. Well, what, you know what they say, if they, if they dump you, get right back They're on. Going. That's right, and that's what he done. I mean, he done real well. He works hard at it. Well, I'm, I watched his mother do a record 100-yard dash across that field. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and here's Coach Cal and Allie Joe Jacobs for Jake and Allie Joe. Now, she was reserve up there, but she made a great show. And, and she just, win, lose, or draw, she's got this smile on her oh, face. Yes. Cause she's enjoying doing she's what enjoying. she loves. And, and everybody's right. I pray for, for Dickie Shriven. Oh yeah, yeah. I think that's the only horse he brought to the show. Mm. Was hers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kid can do. Hey. Kid can do it, Tyler Balcom for Robert George. You know Robert Robert's son, he, he's a professional poker player. Okay. And he's he's in the finals. I mean he has fought his way. There was something like a close to a thousand players, I think. Now they're down to a hundred and something and uh -huh. and he's still chugging along. I mean that's 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 saying something. That is saying something. That's saying a lot. Kid Can Do, I love that name. And here, I'm gonna tell you, Kelly DeShell puts her daughter in that pony class on yeah. this one. It's gonna be a knockdown drag out, cause yeah. that right there can walk with any of them. He just, I am busting loose, buddy. You talking about a show. Show horse. And her daughter does a good job of showing her. Right here is Zaro Jr. and John Allen Calloway, your four year old canter reserve winner. Tell you what, they better watch this. This is one to watch. That's right. Come celebration time at Big Track. This horse right there might be there at the end. At the end, that's right. He's a real nice horse. Right here, Super Bowl MVP and B.B. Beasley.
these kids do a good job oh, showing yeah. them horses. And they really enjoy it too. Oh Lord, yeah. Right here is Honor's Image and Tanner Burks for Shane Porterfield, four-year-old winner. Tell you what, them Burks boys are making yep, a they are. hit too. They're doing a real good job. Yeah, they're they're doing great. El Hombre in black and Jake Jacobs, amateur four-year-old winner. This is another good one. Oh, yeah, it is a nice horse, real nice horse. That's the first time he showed that horse. Yep, sure is. He told me, he said, I got me another one. This is a bigger one. El Hombre in black. I think he said something about Johnny Cash in this horse. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I tell you what, that finished out a great weekend. Oh, yeah. I mean, the 4th of really July good. was strong. 900 and some odd horses, and we had uh, a 99.3% compliance rate. What more can you ask for? Uh, that's right. That's, that's wonderful. That's great. I do want to remind everybody this weekend, Friday night, Cornersville, Jerry Collier judging, Saturday night, Manchester, Tennessee, Joe Fleming. We will be doing a multi-camera live stream from that show. And uh, have, we'll have some numbers listed where you can call in and make a contribution to horseplay. If you want to support something that is fantastic, support that. <laughs> because yeah. it, it's a fantastic charity. And Jerry Wiz will be there. Yes, I will be. Yeah, you're going to make a, an appearance, a yes, guest make, appearance, a guest special guest special appearance. Guest That's guest. it. We're going to get on there and, and <laughs> absolutely, we're going to have some good times because oh, yeah. it, it's a great show, great atmosphere. I just hope we've, it's not real hot and I hope it doesn't rain. Rain, That's right. Now, if, it's, if we get all that, then I'm going to be happy as a bee. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we will see you next week with another episode of What a Horse. Until that time. Keep in the saddle, don't come out on the ground. That's right. Have a good weekend. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat. So they say, I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner's circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter's circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.